Hey guys, it's Amy from Paper Crane Wishes, and today I'm gonna to give you a short tutorial as how I made my Flex Seal vinyl stencil doormats with my Cricut Explorer. As you can see here, I'm cutting out the stencil with vinyl. If you want more information about how I made the stencil, check out the links below, and you can get a link direct on how I created this exact design in Design Space. After I get the stencil, um, I just start weeding it. We all know how much time weeding takes, and I also I try to make sure that I have like the circle on the zeros and any sort of negative space that's not connected to the stencil I always try to make sure I keep that on there um, and I used two different pieces of vinyl that were 12 inch by 12 inch by a foot by a foot and I actually designed them separately because I didn't have the giant mat crazy right um, but you know I did find that it was able to work and, and it worked just fine. One of the things that I am really impressed about on this project is that even when you spray down the flex seal, as long as you have the tiny little pieces that um, like have the holes for the nines or you know the holes for the E's, um, they actually still surprisingly stay pretty good. So now here I am taking off the vinyl stencil. This is probably what I would consider the most difficult part of the whole project because vinyl stencils tend, as you can see here, sometimes they can get stuck and that's what hap to happened to me right here. So just be very, very gentle with your stencils and take your time with, you know, pulling them apart and make sure that they don't rip because you don't want to put in all this time only to see it rip. But you can see if I take my time and I actually, this isn't fast forward, but if I take my time, then yeah, I can lay it out to the way that I want to be laid out in. Um, and then I also try to make sure that the little stickers that I keep are also put on it, like I was saying with the negative space. And you would be surprised, like I, I remember when I did the project the first time I was thinking to myself how interesting it is, like it didn't feel like the vinyl stencil was on there, like I really didn't think that it would come out clean, I thought for sure. Um, just because of the way it was sticking on this core mat. And that's what it is, it's a core mat. And I got the mat at Joann's for $6 with a 50% off coupon. So, it, and it was it retails at $12 at Joann's. So if you use a 40% off coupon, you can very well get these exact core mats from um, Joann's for only six or $7. Um, and so here you, you see me, you know, trying to make it look pretty. And I would say this is this is the hardest part about the project, and I wanted to show this to the perfect degree because I want there to kind of be an understanding. This is this is where it was difficult for me. Um, the other part that was difficult is I actually messed up the first one because I had uh, sprayed it accidentally outside the lines because I wasn't thinking after putting all my mental energy into doing this. And so it actually went outside the lines. Um, so I'll show that in a little bit. But here I am, I'm putting the stencil, like the little negative pieces, back to where they should be. And like I said, when I was doing it the first time, I sure didn't think that it would actually turn out. I did not think that I would be able to create like a little clear hole after the flex seal had been sprayed. But surprisingly, um, yeah, it worked out pretty good in that way. So definitely make sure that you don't lose those cute little pieces so that they can look perfect when you get to the flex seal part. Um, when you start using flex seal, definitely make sure that you have gloves on because that's incredibly important. This flex seal stops in stain. And be sure to spray up and down, up and down, not side to side. I don't know, somebody said that and it seemed to work pretty good. Um, you know, and give it a couple layers. And then when you pull it off, wow! And like we were talking about with that negative space, look at that. And that's on all of So here's that time I messed up and you can see at the top, I accidentally put the flex seal up there. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. And here is my mat under a bunch of snow. And yes, it melted and it still looks beautiful and turned back into something like this. Well, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when I make another video. If you have any cool craft ideas that you wanna see me start, just go ahead and pop it in the comments below. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.